Hello, welcome to um, PhD demo 401, a reference to the um, to the building of to what the um, Titanic was the serial number, basically. Yeah, the serial number. How's the sound? Turn that down for everybody, just because I don't want to burn your ears out. I'm going to turn that down a little bit more on OBS. Although that does kind of, um, it does, um, though I don't know what OBS does in terms of, like, sound, because, yeah. Oh well, yeah, you know, I'm just doing this as a hobby. So, let me get you Fast, fast, coming soon. Fast, fast, we'll also be coming soon. Let's begin here. You have very nice seed lying on what I'm assuming is the forward grand staircase. I'm gonna let this load in a bit. Ooh, nice sea fighting. That's an interesting texture. But anyway, so now we have doors which can open like this. And we are now in well, what we were in was the, um, D-Deck. The D-Deck boarding room. First class. Obviously, because, yeah. So I think to explore the ship, we're going to go forward first. And then we are going to go aft. And we're going to have a little bit of lag. Yeah, that's because I'm on a laptop, and we all know laptops for shit. So here we have cabin... Ah. No clue. Okay, we can't jump. Look at the reflection of the linoleum tiles. Here we have the 3D deck cabins. Now this is new, like completely new. First time I've seen it. We'll be going down there in a bit. Now I'm assuming that this is to... So this is forward d -deck. First class forward anyways. Forward of this, there is a few cabins. And then forward of that, there is the third class common room, if I remember correctly, because there was a third class space in d -Dark. There was a third class space in d -Dark where they could socialize. There was also a third class space on d -Dark. on the c deck at the back, stern of the ship. Here we have one of the um, tradings, trading sliding doors into what I'd assume would be second class areas. On E deck. Squash court. That's the squash court. Now let's go down to F deck. So this is the squash board on F deck, which is, and there's a clock here, which I don't think works as a right now. So this is where they have a nice game squash, the sun. Uh, and water source, I'm pretty 
sure that's proper timings. I'm pretty sure we are underneath the foxhole. Ooh. What's this? This does lead to nowhere, however, it is interesting. Down into the mail room. So, this is where all the mail was, and this was kind of where the Titan. Well, actually, no, not this side. This is poor. There's white star, there's letters. There's some Titanic postcards of the era. Uh, no, no, that's of the era. I'm just leading a bit forward so that I can actually see what it's saying. This would be um, an elevator, which would help get mail from. Ooh, nice loading. I'm always I'm on I'm, I'm interested in this thing. It's like I'm a things department student. So. so this was the actually was this the slide that was at the iceberg struck? I think it was. Yeah, it was because the list was the port. This is actually the starboard. So we have all this storage. This is basically a giant storage area. Let's go back up the stairs. Into the forward. Now I just want to let this load a bit. As we can see, it is kind of a bit. Shut that. So, to allow that to deload, to um, to not be rendering in my CPU. So this is the board of F of G deck, I think. Because there are a few portals on the outside of this, so it's not below the waterline. I think the waterline is about here with the, with reference to the entire following. Very nice technic very nice under the hood. Like you can see the loading, it's not seamless, but it's it's good enough. <clears throat> and this is definitely below one of the water type bulkheads. I forget which one it is. I think the boiler room is yeah, there is a form of the kind of behind the sun. Separation of the Is that what I call out now? It's uh we can see all of them. Is that a missing texture? That looks like a missing texture. I'm not really that familiar with Unreal. Let me figure it out, yeah. Let me open Google. No, that's not a missing texture. It just looks like it. Yeah, I'd probably be a bit slower here. But hey, loading. <laughs> it, I, it makes me smile because... Is there another door somewhere? Oh, 
how this just goes nowhere, this goes down to the squash point here. This also goes to nowhere, and this is probably what I'll be seeing next time. And here's a little map of D-Deck. So we are roughly here in the center of the screen. Because there's the stairs that we've just gone down here. I don't think there's any, if I remember correctly, there's no cabins. Ooh, light. Oh wait, yeah, we've just been here. No idea why one of the um, signs are working. I might file a bug report with the deaths. Although then again, I do kind of understand if it's not showing on my specific system because of the light that I'm getting. And we are back in the... Is it loaded? Yeah, it's loaded. Steward call button. And we are back into the Grand Staircase. So let's go um, aft of here. So this is the reception room for the dining room, which was included in your first class ticket if you took it. If I remember correctly, there should be something here. This is actually a mega, de mega demo, but there is like time to, um, ooh, nice linen tiles, nice carpet. But there is time to um, submit bugs to my understanding. Now the chairs, collision boxes have been removed. Nice electric can. I wish I had one right next to me to cool my computer. So these were actually dual portals behind this. There were two sets of portals. I think there's a, on demo three, if I remember correctly, there is a window that is open. That would allow for this. Light stuff. Yeah, they are only using content. No. Yeah, we are using continental style leading because this ship is technically well it's American owned, but it's registered in England. Piano. I love the ceiling pans and like this the light slip. Ooh, I have really, I have much respect for these. It's really getting to help them. I'll put them soon for myself. Oh wow. I Yeah, I can see that. This is actually really efficient. Like I said in, I remember in demo three when I was recording it, I said something along the lines of, I hope my computer can run this, but it seems very, very optimized now. Like, this is only demo. This was never meant for the public. This was supposed to be just internal and probably for the million, for the investors. But yeah, you know, these things happen. That's just life. Ooh, I seen an. Ooh. I seen a normal map. I can't hear any potted plants, sadly. But this was the dining room. Thirteen. Ooh. Oh, they're all thirteen. But like that would make perfect sense because. 
Ooh, that would be like different. But actually, no, it wouldn't be because it's possible. To do that with texture overlay and text fields and all that fancy stuff. But this is Unreal, not Unity. I'm used to Unity. I'd really like to see like how they're over how the taxes are overlaid. Ooh. I like that. There's definitely a lot of regions here. I sort of set it your sofa or couch, depending on where where in the world you're from. Now I don't know if I should go down or up. I'm probably gonna go down. to eat at. If you listen closely, you can hear a clock. I actually load in there. Nice. So this would go down to Scotland Road, but Scotland Road isn't available yet. It's available in Demo 3. However, it's not available in Demo 401 because it's, um, they're just releasing it in segments. I mean, it makes sense because this wasn't supposed to be for, for public cons consumerism, public consumers. Storage cover. No texture. However, I can't tell if there's a model or not. Lighting up. No, it's not. Right. Is there a gl is that glitch still left? Welcome to the Turkish Baths. This must be inc it'll be different at night. Can I get in? No, I can't. Sad, but yeah, understandable. So this was in demo three. This man has been there for I don't know how long. I wonder if he's enjoying the electric bath. That doesn't look right. Yeah, that's a missing texture. Or oh, something didn't load right. This would be the shower. Shower of sorts, I don't know. Oh, like baths. The marble and just the tiles. And the I wouldn't like to I wouldn't like to hang my coat in what is effectively a web. She would call buttons everywhere. And this is what I assume is a sauna. No idea what's above this, uh, but I'm ex but I'm assuming it's detect something on D. Yeah, it is. It's um. Or is that actually the funnel of tech? 
like, oh, oh, they fixed it. This is fine, Paul. This looks much better than it did on... Come on. Yeah, it's loading in, um... Textures. Let's give it a minute. The water isn't moving, but that's fine. You know, what can you do? One of these is probably open. Oh. So it's just a seat. Hmm. Changing that. Oh, let's see, um, I'm a vampire. Yes, I'm a vampire. I forget, that's probably a locked door, given how close we are to the edge of the edge of the ship. That doesn't open. That doesn't open, what was that? Oh, that's the water type bulkhead. That Ooh, lag, like, guess I have to load the entire brand stack I can I haven't been down here yet. So this is the e cabins. Second class will be over here. Now the E28, so this would be the 28th cabin on E deck. E deck elevators. Be, be really nice to see these actually function. There is a watertight door between down here, below this. Probably the F deck partition. Actually, the rays, we can go down and see that water type door. Because it's here. So it would come down here through these gears, and then it would shut like that. E-deck. Again, we've seen all this. Let's go up to C-deck, which is interesting. So this is the grand staircase, the forward grand staircase. There was two grand staircases in the Titanic. Neither of which were ever photographed. Because the, it was on the Olympic, so... You know, everyone was like, a big deal. So we can see the elevator is on B deck here, B deck here, and B deck there. Notice. Ooh. The paint's a bit. Worn out. Well, actually, no, that's the varnish. I should know more than this. The reason, I think the reason, I think there's a reason why that is, like, because it just makes more sense from a technology standpoint in terms of game design because if is all you really need to load is the fact that there's a wall there and there's a wall there as opposed to having to load the textures and I think we'll see that in a minute yeah because it's the deck loads. The D-Deck unloads about here. 
and then the rest of this loads. If anybody from the THU chat team sees this, and this is incorrect, please correct me, because it'd be interesting to know. How oh, lovely my dogs are barking. Welcome to the inquiry office. How long has this been going on for? 25 minutes. I've cut this at about half an hour. Or I could just cut this now. I'll do CDEC and then I'll just because, yeah. I just want to make this a little bit more manageable. Because I know, like, last time I had, like, because I know that last time it was, like, well, it was the Britannic. It was about an hour and 27 minutes or something. I think it's probably too long for, um... a video, but anyways, let's continue. And do this. So this is the inquiry office, so the BQ is here. Well, if forever was a queue, I don't know. You could put letters here, you could speak to an attendant. And you could ask for things like, do you want a letter sent by the Marconi machine, which we will get to eventually. And there's no scary adventure out of time now, sadly. He is gone. He has been fired because he is too scary. Notices. Notices, my computer is lagging. Passengers are encouraged to, in to, in to contribute to the project. They enjoy this demo, Titanic on the Glory. Patreon.com slash Titanic 18. 